<laughs> hey guys, um, I'm still here in Boston. It is five minutes to seven o'clock a.m. And I don't think I went to sleep until two last night. I'm about to get up and start getting ready because I'm hoping to be out of here by eight. It only took I only took like ten minutes last night to get here. Um, so I'm hoping I can just get out of here at eight. My flight leaves at 11.45 this morning. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. Within the airport, I need to I really, really need to grab breakfast. Last night, dinner was like cup ramen from the lobby of this hotel, which I'm so thankful for because it would have been nothing if I didn't have that because nothing was open. I mean, there's a 7-Eleven down the street because I looked before I got here. There's a 7-Eleven that was open, but there was no way I was walking to that 7-Eleven. Like, I'm an adventurous kind of person, but that's just stupid. <laughs> like, it's it literally after one o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna be caught dead, you know, like walking around trying to find me at 7 Eleven. Like, no, we're not doing that. Oh, I just want to go back to sleep. Uh, peace. Peace. Oh, I have to It's time. It's time to leave. It's time to leave this hotel. It is 7.46 and I have to leave and take care of the family. I'm very tired. But yeah, let's go. Your hair, my hair is looking real big today. Like I swear I did it yesterday, but in the midst of like all the rush, and the walking and the sweating, it got like poofed out. So now it's just this like ball of fluff right now. Look, like, literally, my hair feels like a ball of fluff. And I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care at this point. Whatever, let's go. So we are in the airport. I have just, just made out of security. I'm trying to find something to eat. And yeah, the pass through security didn't go well. Well, 
I haven't had the best luck with security in the past couple days. First time wasn't my fault. This time was. <laughs> so I pretty much just forgot to take my Nintendo Switch out of my backpack. Well, not forgot. I remembered. I just couldn't find it. So I left it thinking it was going to be all right. And it wasn't. So it's going to be a little noisy in here because it's an airport and I'm in a restaurant. And I just got some like really crap news. So, so my flight is with this like really small airline that I don't know how small this plane is. Like I, I flew a small plane from Beaumont to Dallas, and they took my bags no problem. But this airline I'm unfamiliar with, and the guy, when he took my bags, he told me, yeah, I just want to let you know, just in case, um, we may not be able to take both of your bags, but I have two check bags. And he was like, yeah, one of them may have to fly tomorrow. And I'm like, what? Because if I'd known that that, would, that might happen, then I would have, I would have like made sure that everything I needed was in one bag, but everything's just, just been like split up and I don't know what's in what. And I'm like, like praying to God that it, they both will like make it through. He said that um, it's just a possibility because they, but he did say they did have some people check in. They didn't have any bags. So I'm hoping that I can take up their bag space. <laughs> because, yeah, I can't. I'm getting picked up by a shuttle driver uh, from Basin Harbor. And so, um, I, like, it's an hour away from the airport. Basin Harbor is an hour away. So, if one of my bags is not making, I'm going to have to, like, get one of them to take me back to the airport tomorrow. And I don't want to have to do that. Like, that's just more work on my part. And then, and then on top of that, I got to the airport early, like, thinking that, yeah, I'm getting here early, so I can check in and still don't have, like, food, but I got here too early. Um... I think I got to the check-in desk for Boutique Air. That's the, the Boutique, Boutique Air is the name of the um, airline that I'm using. I didn't know until I got there that they weren't even going to be there until 9.30. Which I get, because apparently, like, this must be a really small plane. Like, this, I thought the plane that I was on yesterday with, like, the three-seater, like, three seats, like, three rows so like two on one side and one on the other side oh that was small but this one, this one must be smaller because boarding is 15 minutes before we take off and like homeboy asked me for my weight and everything when i checked in i was like he was he like literally wrote down how heavy both my bags were and then asked me for my weight and i'm like how small is this plane I'm really nervous about it actually. Um, it must be it must be smaller than the one that I flew yesterday. Why else would you need that? And then like tell me that my bags may not even get on. I definitely think I just spotted the plane. And She's definitely smaller than the one I was on yesterday. Uh, it's a really tiny plane. Oh my God. <sighs> That's definitely the kind of plane where they ask you how much you weigh. I'm probably sitting there discussing about this girl <laughs> with two bags <laughs> that weigh a ton. Thought we're discussing how to leave our bags off the plane. I don't care if the plane is small. I just hope my bags get on at this point. I want me and my bags to both get on this plane. 
a small little toy plane. Oh my god. It's got propellers on the front. I just realized it's got propellers on the nose. Oh. <laughs> Question. Well, sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. If you guys have any questions, want to come up and take pictures in flight from the front, please feel free to do so, okay? Wow. Made it. So we will not be flying little bitty eight seater planes anymore. That's not, we're not doing that. I just about almost puked while I was getting off the plane. I'm so nauseous right now. A cute airport. This is a really cute airport. But we'll be, we will not be flying that way back home. Yeah. Period. Yeah, oh gosh. Oh, I feel sick. I should have taken the German bean that I had <sighs> before I took that flight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I just have to go get my bags and my shuttle driver to Basin Harbor should be here by now. It is after three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, May 14th, and I am finally where I am supposed to be at. Three airports later and three airports and three plane rides later, and I am finally where I'm supposed to be. I am tired. My room is cute. I'll have to do another video showing the room because right now I just can't be bothered. It's been a hectic two days to get to Vermont from Texas. And it's cute. And all like the airport was real cute. The ride, the drive up here, well the ride because you girl didn't drive. The ride up here was nice. Um, really nice day. Like it's not too hot, not too cold. And it's just 
really blue skies and just like rolling hills of grass. You know what? I, what was that? It was nice. It was cute. So, yeah, I'm going to show the room later. It's real like, like the whole property's got this really like nice country home vibe, like a Cracker Barrel had their own like hotel resort place. I feel like it would look like this. Know what I mean? No? All right, well, yeah, it's got a country vibe to it. I'll do like a tour of the property when I feel like it. It's kind of sprawling. Like when I, when I looked at it online, I kind of had a feeling it'd be sprawling, which is like cool, but also like I don't want to walk for miles. So I was already thinking about getting, a, getting an electric scooter just so I can scoop scoop around the property and not have to walk walk. We'll see though. If if your girl going, I'm not I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna save that for later. But I need to save up some more money, so we'll see what happens. But that's it for the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're interested. Like no pressure. Just like, if you feel so inclined, I'd appreciate it. All right, guys, bye.